All right, we're going to talk today about the third grade and fourth grade art supply kit. So um, this year we are asking students to come to the art room. I'm Miss Tomlinson, your art teacher, if you are new to Jensen, um, and it's good to see you. It's good to see all of you guys coming back. I'm so happy that my second and third graders are now third and fourth graders, and I can't wait to have you guys back on campus when it is safe for everybody to be here. Um, we need to make supply kits to come to class this year. Um, the supply kits are for to make it easier for students who are at home to have the same supplies that students who come to school physically and come to my class physically have. I will be building all of the lessons from these supplies. Um, and then students will keep their supply kit with them. They'll bring it to my room and take it back to their homeroom at the end of class. Um, so that if for some reason they ha somebody has to go and quarantine at home or the class has to quarantine at home, they can grab their kit, take it home, and have their supplies with them. So the first thing I recommend is the heavy-duty freezer bag because it's just stronger than the regular Ziploc bag. And then on the outside of it, you're going to write your name, your grade, and your teacher's name. So this is a made-up person, Stacy Campbell who's in second grade and Miss Coward. But here in third grade or fourth grade, it would be somebody's name, third grade or fourth grade, and then Mr. Ledesma or Miss Bellamy or whoever your homeroom teacher is. Um, inside this bag, the first thing we're gonna ask for students to have are two number two pencils. Um, these pencils, the brand I have here is Ticonderoga. Ticonderoga came in this box. I got them at HEB. Ticonderoga is the best brand um, available for, for uh, student use. They last longer. They don't break as easily. Um, so this is the one I would suggest. Um, if you've already got pencils, two pencils is what we need. If you get to make a choice, Ticonderoga is the best choice. Pencils in my bag. The next thing um, I'm asking students to have is a handheld pencil sharpener. The pencil sharpener um, keeps me from having to touch all of the pencils and having them sharpened in class. Um, students will sharpen their own pencils, throw their trash in the trash can, and stay in their space um, without having to get up and, and come across the room to see me to sharpen things. It's just going to be easier in the long run. Also, if you're at home, you may not have an electric pencil sharpener, need a pencil sharpener. The next thing on the list is a good white eraser. This is a high polymer eraser. The white erasers, when we, if you have to, you know, erase a mistake when you use this, it does better for getting the marks off and it doesn't turn your paper colors like the pink eraser does. Um, However, you guys know, if you've had me for more than one year, that I much prefer you use your imagination and figure out a way to make your mistake work inside your drawing than erasing. Because when you erase, there's always um, where you've pressed down in the paper and you can always see where um, that mistake was. Um, whereas if you figure out, use your imagination, figure out a way to make it part of your picture, then it doesn't show up nearly as bad. So this is going in. The next thing we need, two glue sticks, a container of white glue, all going in my bag, a um, pair of scissors. These scissors have the rounded end. There's also student scissors that have a little bit of a point. Either of these will do fine for third and fourth grade. Just know that um, if you get the kind with a little bit of a point, you're going to have to be careful that you don't accidentally poke yourself. That would not be fun. Scissors go in the bag. You can take it out of its container that it, that it came in. Um, don't need to have all this cardboard in here. I just haven't done it yet. Um, going to need Crayola washable markers. Um, the box I have here is a box that was in the classroom already. Um, not a washable kind, but we need the washable. Washable, if you get it on your clothes, it comes out much easily. If you get it on your hands, your hands will wash off. 
Also, we can also make watercolor magic with it. We can coat paint with our markers and use our paint brushes and water to make, um, make it work like watercolor. With the non-washable markers, you can't do that. Washable markers are better. Um, this is watercolors. This is, <laughs> it came out. The uh, Crayola brand washable watercolors, two times the color is in this kit. So this kit was about a dollar and a half at Target. The brush that comes with it is much better than in cheaper watercolor kits. This has got a real thick bristle on it. Um, just, it's a really good brush. The cheapo version, I've got a one that was over here that was a dollar version. The brush differences, this brush has very little um, support to it. It's just real fuzzy. Whereas the other brush, I can't get them both in here at the same time, is just much thicker and better. So the Crayola is a better choice, not just because of the brush, but because of the colors as well. This is the dollar version. Um, it's a real thin kit. There's not a whole lot to the, to the color in here. And if you look even the yellow on this one and the yellow on the Crayola, look at how different those colors are. This is the better, Crayola is better than a cheaper version. So that's my recommendation. We're not going to use these the first few weeks of school. Well, it'll be later, like on into September or October before we get to the watercolors. I will give you a heads up. Next week would be the week whenever it gets to that time. Also, instead of crayons, um, for third and fourth grade, I asked for students to have color pencils. Um, you can have crayons if you've got crayons, that's great. Um, you may use them at some point in time and what we're making, but I would rather us use color pencils because you can um, control where the pencil marks go a lot easier with the pen color pencils than you can with crayons. Some because the crayon end is much thicker than the pencil tip on this. Uh, I know everybody last year much enjoyed using coloring pencils over crayons. Um, and so I thought for, for art supplies this year that you guys would probably prefer using this. There's also a kit that has 36 and 48. If your parents say it's okay to get the larger kit, that would be awesome. It gives you more choices when you're coloring. Um, but the 24 is what we need, okay? And so now I have all of these things in here. The one other thing that we're um, going to request is a package of construction paper. This I got from HEV. I think it was under $3 or right at $3. Um, it's probably going to be the more expensive thing on your list. Um, but we're going to be making art with this. And so kids at home are going to be needing paper supplies. Um, kids who come into school, it's just much better if you have them on you with you versus me having to touch every single piece of paper and passing it out to you guys. Trying to minim to make um, the number of times we handle things or have to share things reduce down quite a bit because um, the less time, I, less time I have to touch something or you have to touch and me touch and you touch and me touch, well, we don't get sick this way if we have fewer touches. Um, something that's not on the published list on the piece of paper that's out there is a Sharpie. Third and fourth graders are responsible enough generally to be able to use a Sharpie. We use these to outline the, uh, the drawings we make to make the colors pop. So if it's possible to get your student a Sharpie, that would be great. If you can't, that's okay. We can use um, the black and the markers, um, but the color and the control is just better with a Sharpie or a permanent marker style marker than it is with the fatter tip on the Crayola marker. And then last but not least, again, these are not required. The, the requirement is the eight color kit. But I saw these when I was at Target this morning. There's a 16 color kit and a 24 color kit. Um, these are about three and a half dollars. It's a little bit more, about $2 more than the other. But um, again, if your parents say it's okay, then 
those would be great. I'm not asking you to have the 24 or the 36. The 8 is all that I'm asking you to have. That's all I have for our supplies. If anyone has any questions, you know, your parents can email me or message me in Seesaw. Um, excuse me, not Seesaw, Google Classroom. You guys can message me in Google Classroom. You can message me at my email, T. T-O-M-L-I-N-S-O-N at PasadenaISD.org. Or you can call me here at the school. It's at the school's phone number, and my extension is 24168. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Um, we're going to have another video recorded that has our actual lesson in it. This is supplies only. So I will see you in the next lesson.